guys how are you doing hope you're doing well welcome back to our youtube channel we are the kevin family and fortunately kev is not in today rindo ako so the reason why kev ayuko him 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 ama kamba apologies by the way yes do you know what they say me kwangu no nani correct lakini ni kwa kwa pronunciation no like mbaya you just bear with me so the reason why I gave Ayuko is because I wanted to do a Q and A. Yenye, like if you are, if when we kita mbuki dogo, kunaile video tulifanya, we shared with you our age, we shared with you the time we have been together, we took our eyes and everybody had doubts. So to come together to come together, most of us are not generals, we are not like me and Kev. So I'm a Kev and Hi, whatever. So we got back, we got back some questions, and there are so many about me getting married at 17 years. So that's why I'm a Kujapa again, and that's why I'm doing this alone because I thought I felt that if I do this video alone, I will have that courage to speak my heart. Bila kona Kev, we saw this in Guinea. So G. So. That's what I'm going to start. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I've just picked 10. Kama yako ita jibi wa you don't worry. We're going to have so, so, so many questions. Uh, Q and S, nita zifanya mob until these questions zishe. So for now, allow me to fanya 10 because it's around 5 na napas kuingia gym 6. So badu na, na kibiza na masa. Not forgetting for the new subscribers, welcome so much, welcome, welcome to the Kevin family. At Kwangi, Kwangi, Evie, na Kwanga na Mse Mungini hapa. Ivenye, leo kwa hii topic, ayuko. Yani ataka kikamu hapa, tuwase kukontribute, ata kwa zila, like, mm, mm, mm. Na juwe want to just speak my heart, as I said earlier. That's why ni mwana nipua, ata nikuwe solo. So, the next, the next video... Uh, atakuwa, the next vlog ama video atakuwa So you don't worry Leo ilikuwa tu yangu uh, If you are new here, thank you so much For joining this family Welcome, uh, don't forget to subscribe We post videos on Monday Wednesday, uh, Friday and Saturday So, and we are on a road to 600 If you love what you're doing If you love When you want to make a video You want to make a video like Just like subscribe leave a feedback na tutakuwa very happy about it so let's do 10 questions so i i i'll jaribu so much to be just honest by the way apologies i'm a camera so honest 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 okay this hour so <coughs> you guys miss jali i feel i have i have to drop up but it's a denial so Question number one, liko ni ulizwa. Yani misawizu questions generally is about me getting married at 30 age, that is 17 years. So honest Q and A. So to answer, how was how was your parents' reaction? Okay. Uh, like any other parent, at 17 years, niko first year. But then niko first year. Ah, uh, don't niko nimeja. Niko 2016, niko first year second semester. So then, don't break yeah, my parents that I'm pregnant. Kwanza siku ambia I'm getting married. Kwanza tunazangana pregnancy. Sawa. Uh, Kwa ambia I'm pregnant. Nini, nini, nini. Kila mzazi lazima akue. Like. Akue like. Oh, okay, apana. You have disappointed me. Iyo ni kitu niko shua. Though, uh, today we uliza by the way. Wanaona angaje. But reaction now your time. I'm sure they were disappointed. Uh, the second thing about them, my dad alijua. I think he was seven months pregnant, almost. Huko, zi yondo time alijua. My mom was the first one. Uh, uso u knew, ama um I told that I'm pregnant. And one thing I think about my mom, my mom is a pastor, by the way, and it's a very prayerful woman. So I remember calling my mom and told, tell him my mom, mommy, ni kona bol na hi. I'm sure I've disappointed you. Nini, nini, nini. And guess what? My mom was like, I saw this in a prayer. Uh, I saw that uliko kwa shida. And there is a certain guy. Mwenye alikuja. Kwa kwa. Yani uliko bla bla. That's a story for another day. So my mom alikuwa like, okay. Misa, you don't worry. You don't have what. I just saw this in my prayers. So mom, uniemba and we just. Usijali we tuletulia kidogo. We're not going to break this news to your dad. Right now, so to come for at the seven months, seven months is when to look almost kufunga shule. Na jufna funga shule can't go home while pregnant. Nimemwa 
kumovin na kev so i had to tell my dad i'm not coming home this holiday because i'm pregnant and i want to move in with the guy mm, who is responsible so my dad hey <laughs> my dad i look like we to your ball we love your daughters though it's a mistake but promise one thing you won't drop your studies if you don't go and attack then after two months okay, remember one week after that my dad will come when you feel someone on your name was early i 2016 of umbuka muna kumbuka vizuri should live in your ilienda to a standstill my dad just came at kuchukwa maternity leave for me so i kuwa in in short i kuwa like intense siku fukuzwa siku chakwa but i thank god for such kind of parents jo alikuwa too cool and i also thank god my mom she's a genuinely very detailed nini alikuwa ameona kwa kwa maombi but alikuwa anaona itakuwa na mtampata ball so it was that small though i'm sure your time that time they felt so disappointed at 17 actually i got pregnant uh at 17 years 11 months jo after one month we celebrated my 18th year uh 18th birthday and i was dating kev and i was one month pregnant okay the second question uh did you continue with the education yes i did 2016 nika chukwa maternity leave three months so nika november nika kana december and january i got a very good nanny mwenye design kona e for all those five years i'm a six you can say so nikapatiwa na nini kamwachia mtoi i used to go to learn fanya class na rudi na nyasha mtoi hivyo hivyo so nilisoma until 2018 october at 19 it's when i graduated so i thank god pia jibu bangu wa kuniachilia bangu alikuwa na alikuwa whole through na mimi i remember in my graduation alikuwa very happy alikuwa yani alikuwa amesema alikuwa yani i think it was a dream come true it was a dream come true so nilimaliza masomo yangu yote I didn't drop out after getting married or after giving birth to my son. So number three, were you sure of the decision of getting married at 17? Were you sure of the decision of getting married? Okay, I wasn't sure. First of all, ask uh, Kiriati in kwa getting married, by the way. Siku ichukulia hivyo that time. Because unona campus, unapotanga ha, usunajwa venye campus, wase uishi. So ni kwa ona by then tashi no bwe wangu to lem to we and unfortunately si kwa na any other friend ama any other person in kwa ni ona china bwe wake na mto we but i knew uh i knew nikipata mtoto according to care by the care wali kwa ule mse ni limombia kwa na bwe he didn't doubt i was like okay i'm okay we are ready to see how to go is so at first si kwa ile sure at i need to get married but it was really fall in place by the way uh the time uh, I was due almost kupata mtoi um my mother in law that is mom's care vaka kami yani vitu zilikuwa tu zina fall in place fall in place and as long as unapata one year is over so situshawana so i ko ile though they went to my place and told my parents that we get married someone una understand hizo vitu za kwanza kwanza yes that's what we do but the decision of getting married i was not sure but this siku ana ile future ya au sitamaliza miaka 2 na yeye nilikuwa tu like okay let's let's just to be to you to you so to be to you to you we are question number 4 did you have any doubts mm yes i'm sorry to say this girl i had so many doubts with kev one thing is uh on october 2015 i had nilikuwa na a very bad at break then december 2015 pia nika date with after two or three months tuka break up na ilikuwa mbaya sana so nimekuja nimepata mtu wa tatu unaimagine sasa october nime break na mse tuko nime date a year nimekuja nime date mwingine nikiwa first year first semester december tume break nimeka january february nime date kev sawa pia tuko nime na kev kev ah tulipata na january actually juu mimi ni break na my hair uh, December I won't forget apo Jamore day so 12 so nika tulia tulia kidogo January day 10 day apo hivyo hivyo so nika meet na Kev so nilikuwa na very doubts nilikuwa na bole remember nilikuwa na juliza utivu ujamaa utivu ujamaa kwanza akwe kama wale majamaa wengine 
so dogs zilikuwa mob sana mob sana but I thank god kwa kuni bless na care cause aku ipea aku inipea the room of uh thinking about his or doubts anytime na doubt alikuwa anakuja nafanya kitu inaniondolea his or doubts his or doubts then kakua so hey isi mimi nashija kuji lock so let's meet uh huh, number five. do you think by getting married young might have stopped you from something mm -hmm. getting me yeah, getting married at a young age one thing it has a positive and negative side though me kwangu i think zote zilitanzi kwa positive one thing i say about getting here getting married here kama kuna kitu ilinizuia ilinizuia getting wasted i'm sure if i didn't got get married at that age sijui kama ningemaliza my campus my college life sijui because i was nilikuwa nilikuwa mbaya nilikuwa mbaya when you join club pokies that was my base back then so nilikuwa mbaya so naona anga mimi kuolewa just kept coming to my life ili ni rescue uh, i'm sure if i wasn't married by kev i could be the way i am by the way i'm sorry to say this ju na sanga ni vibaya kusema uko hapo penye kwa jamano me but for me kev has contributed like 90% of where i am today yule mse wa kunipush yule mse wa kunipush and i remember nikienda niki nikiwa shule siku anashikanisha account but alikuwa anasawi ni bwana yangu anikanisha chini tunasoma na yeye so one thing i say kama kuna kitu i didn't stop kufanya kitu yote just that when you didn't stop ni ile ku date date ukua na mike swingi that's what that's something i don't have but nothing stopped me nothing stopped me okay so let's go to number 6 hapo hapo nyemulizuma swali mna get you i'm not going to to do it in detail to your time uh did you have any bad experience getting my married young bad experience i don't know if i can call it bad or good but i have so many so many experiences because of the first and second year oh. First and second year, let me tell you, we fought. Tulikuwa tunapigana. Tulikuwa tunakosana. I was like, I want to move out of, of this uh, marriage and my relationship. But one thing I thank God of, it's because of our parents. Both sides. Kev's side and my side. But the hours, any time, na inuwa tu simu na mama, I think I'm giving up. I'm going to be my dear. Do you remember 2016? Ile time ulikuja huku na wazizuwa Kev, ulisema umeamua. Na uyo ndo umuwa na ume. Huyo mwana mmoja niletea huyo ndo nataka au wengine atana nao. Then my mom also being a pastor, uh, she's a married counselor. So most of the times to on calls na mama ni it goes this and this and this. So hiyo nilisaidia sana. Experiences niko nazo mingi sana. But not bad, but not bad. Uzuri I think God pia lingililia by the way. God alingilia. Mimi nasema nga God amekuwa na mimi since the first day I met Kev. Alikuwa na I think God alikuwa amealign everything for us. So, since mat kuna mali nilipata bad experience, no. I just have good educative experiences, not that bad because I kept aje kwa mtu violent. Is this is not a toxic marriage or a relationship, yani. Start way. Mm. Let's go to the next. Ah, oh, number seven. Any advice to someone who is 19 years, newlywed, pregnant, and feels like giving up? Okay, my dear. Uh, maybe you'll be watching this video. You're 19 years. If you're newlywed, pregnant, and feels like giving up. If I'm not sorry, uh, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, uh, you're not see marriage. Ni marriage kama yu mwaleka tuju kona boy. One thing, um, Bol ina kufanyanga uchukie mse bol ina kufanyanga ufikirie vitu zenye vitu zingine tu bol kwa na mood swings so kitu ya kwanza ni unapaswa kujipea time kwanza mtoto akam you don't know kama ni hormones zako zinakuonesha hivyo second thing are you in a toxic marriage ama ama mzee wako ni violent hiyo ni kitu moja tu kama mzee wako ni violent my friend at 30 at 19 years at 30 at 19 years you just run we 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 toka tu kama kama ni mse kukupiga kama ni mse mbaya i think you understand by meaning mbaya so you just want to go so if mse wako si mbaya if i want red flags by the way 
ju wenye tumeleka tukiwa young most of the times ni red flag so na vinye mse ana flat na na madem vinye mse ana relate na madem pia that is the opposite sex so hiyo ndio inapaswa kupea red flag so if huyo mtu mwenye uko na yeye sasa hivi unasema uko newlywed are you co evil you just give 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 some time give some time um sio kikamo ni bado mse ni mzuri wewe oh, utajionea tu unaweza baby marriage the first nimesema the first second third year inakuanga wa tough inakuanga tough lakini unakisha pita the third year vitu zao kwa ziki fall in place so and one thing disclaimer guys i'm not advising anybody to get married at a young age things just happen naweza kuwa nilioleka at 17 years maisha yangu ikaenda poa Uh, I'm a god to a grace nikagonga I'm now I'm now almost 7 years in marriage sindio but kuna sehemu nyingine tukambia got married 17 nikatoka 18 nika mwingine um, tukambia got married 30 years nikatoka so it depends by the way it depends kwanza <coughs> you have you have to make sure that you land into the right hands that is your you land into the right man when you just start to whatever yes right man na utaweza kujua mwenyewe kama mwanamke utaweza kujua ni mtu anakupenda ni mtu anakutreatage je kuna venye ati utaonanga red flags na usema ati if the relationship is not in a number i guess uko 19 years umeanza kuona mwanamume uko na red flag my friend me i don't advise you to kuka hapo atuna chapo at 19 years please don't please don't please don't so so mimi na, na kwa advice mwenye unasema uko newly wed uko pregnant uko 19 years you just don't give up acha kwanza mtoto akuje after mtoto amekaa mapo sana unaweza kujua almost zitakuwa zimekondokea mood swings zitakuwa zimekondokea hapo ndo utaweza kujua by the way kukuaje okay so number 8 where you judged where where i judged yes nilikuwa judged so much sana 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 mm, like for where he come from kwa village yetu by the way rumors were all over i got married at 17 years uh, fortunately penye nimeoleka my mom my heroes walikuwa very okay with the issue by the way i don't know why walikuwa very cool they were happy for me but where i come from like for my relatives and my friends and my family my my neighbors i kwa i kwa poa And one thing I used to pray back then kwa naambia Mungu God to me pet 10 years. Ni hata siko nataka 5 ama 7 na juu bado niko kuweza but ni pet 10 years. Za kuishi na care ndo hawa tu ni wa program. And I just see Mungu ame am yani Mungu ametenda mambo mabovu sana. Juu nataka ku prove wale wase. I'm sure maybe ulikuwa ulinijudge. Ulinijudge your time. I don't know as in see put you what and see put you but yes i was just but mimi nili keep to focus but then nili acha kwenda kwetu ndo nisikie story mamangu alikuwa msaizi niambia kitu yote na ile sasa ndo anaibenga unaanga ule mwanamke eh huyu alikuja akanipea msomo juu ni wachach akaniambia we ni pasta alafu mtoto wako akaoleka na harusi nini nini kama mama god time is the best so so i was judge sana 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 Main question do you regret it no a big no i don't regret getting married to kevin i don't i don't i think this is the best 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 of bestest kama kuna kitu ka decisions i ever made to be with this guy in my life i don't regret okay uh the number 10 and the last question are you planning having more kids <laughs> yes i'm planning to have more kids Uh, but not now i'm 24 so at 26 or 27 and 30 i'm planning to have two more kids two more kids ju i uh, mean to us yes so nusikia ama my doctor told me i can just have four kids i already have two so before that i'll have other two god willing so na ikif na nikiwezekana nipate watano it's okay so i'm planning to have more kids i'm planning to have more kids and hiyo ndo mwisho ya maswali yetu thank you so much for tuning in when you are here and watch till this end thank you so much for watching and up
kama swali yako ijaguziwa itaguziwa next time i'll try and guza 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 some questions so guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and leave a comment for those who are pregnant at a young age jitie nguvu sawa jitie nguvu si dhambi si si usi abort by the way si a big deal sawa si watu za wewe fanye hivi hii ni mistake ulifanya sawa kama sasa yuko handa age na pregnant and you are watching this video it's not a big deal just make peace with your parents waambie pole kwa ku disappoint na huko kishapata mtu yu work hard na usiende mwingine sawa unless you have a responsible guy sawa so kupata ball mapema si kitu kwa leo mapema si kitu it depends sawa it depends kwanza ujisikize mwenyewe sawa jisikize mwenyewe niko ready okay can I test the waters but ku test the waters pia inaweza kwa risk you can waste all of your life so if you are anywhere your hand age me oleka if you don't see red flags in that marriage keep pushing on you don't know what god has for you pale pale so thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much i love you so much and see you next time ebu si forget to subscribe sawa do subscribe subscribe aya ume like unafinya tv tu aya ku like tu ume like then leave a comment tell me something and goodbye